During the first hours of extended fasting, the digestive system shuts down its usual workload and the body begins reallocating resources. One of the first organs to sense this shift is the heart. Because digestion consumes a meaningful portion of daily energy, reduced activity in the gut allows the heart to redirect its focus to maintaining stable circulation and metabolic balance. This marks the beginning of a physiological conversation between hunger cues and cardiovascular responses. As blood sugar begins to decline, the autonomic nervous system adjusts to maintain homeostasis. The heart slightly reduces its workload because less energy is needed for digestion. This early stage produces minimal changes, but it sets the foundation for deeper metabolic adaptations that will unfold over the next hours and days. The body prioritizes efficiency, and the heart is central to that transition. Hormonal signals, such as ghrelin, which rise during fasting, indirectly influence heart activity. Though ghrelin is known primarily for triggering hunger, it also acts on cardiovascular tissues, improving vascular tone and reducing inflammation in early fasting. These subtle changes demonstrate how closely metabolic and cardiac systems are intertwined. Overall, the initial silence of the stomach initiates a coordinated physiological response involving the heart, hormones, and energy regulation. At this early stage, the heart is not stressed. It is adapting, preparing, and optimizing itself for the profound metabolic transitions coming next. Before we continue, tell us in the comments, where in the world are you watching this video from? Within the first 60 to 90 minutes of fasting, your body begins using stored glucose from the liver, a process called glycogenolysis. The heart relies heavily on glucose for fuel, so this transition is carefully regulated to maintain stable cardiac output. Blood glucose remains within a safe range, preventing sudden changes in heart rate. As insulin levels begin to decrease, sympathetic nervous system activity slightly shifts. This can cause a mild reduction in heart rate for some individuals, especially those with well-trained metabolism. The heart becomes more reliant on fatty acids as insulin falls, gradually preparing for deeper stages of fasting. Minor improvements in heart rate variability HRV, may appear during early fasting hours. HRV reflects the balance between sympathetic and parasympathetic activity and higher variability is associated with better cardiac resilience. Early fasting often increases this variability, suggesting improved cardiac efficiency. Although these first responses seem small, they represent the beginning of metabolic flexibility. The heart is learning to transition between fuel sources smoothly, ensuring that energy flow remains consistent even as external fuel intake stops. Once liver glycogen begins to run low, typically after 12 to 18 hours, fat metabolism increases significantly. This transition alters the heart's fuel supply. Because the heart is highly efficient at using fatty acids, this shift generally enhances its endurance and reduces metabolic stress. As adipose tissue breaks down stored triglycerides, free fatty acids enter the bloodstream. These molecules become the heart's primary energy source. Studies show that the heart can generate more ATP per molecule of fatty acid compared to glucose, giving it a stable and abundant fuel supply during extended fasting. This stage also influences blood lipid profiles. Triglycerides usually decrease, HDL cholesterol may rise, and markers of cardiovascular inflammation often decline. These biochemical improvements directly support heart health and reduce long-term risks associated with metabolic syndrome. The increased use of fat for fuel is not simply an energy shift, it is a profound metabolic recalibration. The heart becomes more efficient, inflammation decreases, and the cardiovascular system learns to operate with cleaner, more sustainable energy sources. Extended fasting significantly reduces insulin levels, and this hormonal shift affects nearly every tissue in the body, including the heart. Low insulin improves the availability of fatty acids and promotes metabolic flexibility, allowing the heart to switch between fuels with greater ease. Reduced insulin also lowers systemic inflammation. 
chronic inflammation is strongly associated with cardiovascular disease, so fasting-induced reductions support healthier arterial walls and more efficient heart function. This helps explain why fasting protocols are being studied for their potential cardiovascular benefits. As insulin drops, sodium and water retention decrease, leading to lower blood volume. This can gently reduce blood pressure, reducing the workload on the heart. Individuals who naturally have low blood pressure may feel the effects more noticeably during prolonged fasting. The decline in insulin marks a turning point in extended fasting. It signals that the body is leaving the fed state entirely and entering a more restorative metabolic mode. For the heart, this means improved energy efficiency, reduced inflammatory load, and more stable long-term function. As fasting deepens, the heart's mitochondria begin adjusting to new metabolic demands. These organelles, often called the engines of the cell, increase their efficiency when fuel sources change from glucose to fatty acids. This shift allows the heart to maintain stable contractions even with reduced external energy intake. Research shows that mitochondrial biogenesis, the creation of new mitochondria, can be stimulated during prolonged fasting. This means the heart may temporarily increase its ability to produce energy, improving overall metabolic resilience. The heart becomes more capable of sustaining work using cleaner, more stable fuel sources. Oxidative stress, which can damage cardiovascular tissue, often decreases during extended fasting. With improved mitochondrial function, the production of reactive oxygen species becomes more controlled. This creates a more protective environment for heart cells and tissues. These mitochondrial adjustments highlight how fasting encourages cellular adaptation rather than depletion. The heart's energy production system becomes more organized, more flexible, and in many cases, more efficient than during constant feeding. After approximately 24 to 48 hours of fasting, ketone production increases significantly. Ketones, particularly beta-hydroxybutyrate, become a vital energy source for the heart. Unlike glucose, ketones produce less oxidative stress per molecule, making them a clean and efficient fuel. The heart absorbs ketones readily because they require less oxygen to convert into usable energy. This oxygen efficiency is especially important during prolonged fasting when the body prioritizes conservation of resources. The improved energy yield can contribute to better cardiac endurance. Ketones also function as signaling molecules. They reduce inflammation, improve vascular function, and may support the repair of damaged cardiac tissues. Early research suggests that sustained periods of ketone availability may help protect the heart from metabolic disorders. The shift toward ketone metabolism is not merely a backup system. It is an optimized state that the human body has relied on throughout evolutionary history. For the heart, ketones offer a stable and protective energy source during extended periods without food. Extended fasting typically leads to a reduction in blood pressure, primarily due to decreased insulin, sodium loss, and reduced blood volume. This effect can be beneficial for individuals with hypertension as it naturally eases the workload placed on the heart. However, the degree of blood pressure reduction varies widely. Well-hydrated individuals tend to maintain more stable readings, while those who restrict fluids excessively may experience dizziness or lightheadedness. Proper hydration is essential for maintaining safe cardiovascular stability. As fasting continues, the blood vessels become more sensitive to nitric oxide, which improves their ability to dilate. This enhances circulation and may contribute to improved arterial health. Over time, this increased vascular flexibility can reduce strain on the heart. Though generally beneficial, the drop in blood pressure underscores the importance of knowing one's baseline cardiovascular health before attempting extended fasting. People with already low blood pressure or heart rhythm conditions may need medical supervision. One of the most consistent findings across fasting research is the reduction of systemic inflammation. This decline benefits the heart directly, as chronic inflammation contributes to arterial stiffness, plaque formation, and abnormal heart rhythms. Lower inflammation can improve the electrical stability of the heart. 
When inflammatory markers decrease, the risk of irregular rhythms may drop, particularly in individuals who previously experienced mild arrhythmias. Balanced electrolytes also play a role in maintaining stable rhythm during fasting. Studies suggest that fasting enhances vagal tone, strengthening the parasympathetic nervous system. Higher vagal tone supports calm, steady heartbeats and improved heart rate variability. This balance between sympathetic and parasympathetic activity is essential for cardiovascular resilience. Although fasting generally supports healthy heart rhythm, individual responses vary. Those with pre-existing heart rhythm disorders should monitor closely or consult a specialist, as fasting-induced changes in electrolytes or hydration can occasionally pose challenges. While fasting offers metabolic advantages, extended fasting can challenge individuals whose cardiovascular systems are not well adapted. People with low baseline caloric intake, untreated hypertension, or low blood pressure may experience stronger physiological fluctuations. These fluctuations are not necessarily harmful, but they can be uncomfortable or destabilizing without proper guidance. Electrolyte balance is one of the most important considerations during prolonged fasting. Sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium all play essential roles in maintaining heart rhythm and muscle contraction. When these minerals fall too low, often due to insufficient intake or excessive fluid loss, the heart can respond with palpitations or irregular beats. An unprepared cardiovascular system may also struggle with shifts in blood volume. Fasting decreases insulin, which reduces the kidney's retention of sodium and water. For individuals sensitive to changes in blood pressure, this can lead to fatigue or reduced exercise tolerance during the fast. These challenges do not mean extended fasting is unsafe by default. Rather, they highlight the importance of individual readiness. When performed with adequate hydration, mineral support, and awareness of personal health history, extended fasting can be completed with cardiovascular stability. Athletes often adapt to extended fasting more smoothly because their cardiovascular systems are accustomed to high metabolic demands. Regular training enhances mitochondrial density, stroke volume, and vascular function, all of which support efficient fuel transitions during fasting. Their bodies are skilled at switching between glucose and fat metabolism, a trait known as metabolic flexibility. When fasting intensifies fat use, athletes typically experience fewer fluctuations in energy and heart rate. The heart, already conditioned for aerobic endurance, efficiently uses fatty acids and ketones. Athletes also tend to maintain stronger electrolyte balance due to established hydration habits. This stability helps prevent issues like dips in blood pressure or arrhythmias that may affect less conditioned individuals during prolonged fasting. Although athletes often tolerate extended fasting well, it is not universally recommended during periods of intense training. The cardiovascular benefits of fasting depend on adequate recovery, and combining long fasting with strenuous exercise may strain the heart unnecessarily. Scientific research consistently shows that extended fasting supports cardiovascular health through reduced inflammation, improved lipid profiles, and enhanced metabolic efficiency. These changes are not speculative. They are measurable adaptations documented across numerous clinical studies. Improvements in insulin sensitivity lead to better arterial function and reduced risk of long-term metabolic diseases. Lower insulin and inflammation together create an internal environment more conducive to healthy cardiac function. Despite these benefits, science also clarifies that fasting is not a universal solution. Individual differences such as pre-existing heart conditions, medication use, and electrolyte stability determine how safely someone can fast for extended periods. The most reliable scientific conclusion is that fasting is a tool effective when used properly and cautiously. Understanding how the heart responds allows individuals to apply fasting strategies with greater awareness and safety. Extremely prolonged fasting can move the body from adaptation into strain, especially if minerals are not replenished. 
low sodium, potassium, or magnesium can impair the electrical signals that coordinate heartbeats. These imbalances are the most common reason fasting becomes unsafe. Significant calorie deprivation over many days also reduces muscle mass, including myocardial tissue. Although the heart initially adapts well to new fuel sources, excessively long periods without nutrients can eventually weaken cardiac performance. Low blood pressure and reduced plasma volume may also become more pronounced. Individuals may experience dizziness or reduced tolerance to physical activity. While these effects are usually reversible, they indicate the limits of physiological adaptation. Understanding where these boundaries lie allows fasting to remain a beneficial practice rather than a harmful one. When performed responsibly, supported by hydration, minerals, and awareness of personal health, extended fasting can enhance cardiovascular function without exceeding safe limits. If this video helped you understand your heart a little better, Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we can keep bringing you Science Explained Clearly.